of all, a brief introduction. That's me, age three, with my granddad, who was desperately trying to get me to smile through the camera. Why? It took me a long time to work that one out. But still, I remained undiagnosed for a long time because even as an adult, when I behaved a bit odd, people just thought, no, oh, she's been a bit German. <laughs> Not that being German automatically puts you on the autism spectrum, but the two are a bit easily confused. Always a bit slow to pick up on jokes. Just the explanation. Um, it's not that autistic people don't like socialising. We try really hard. But another big reason why we get confused with Germans. Eh? Uh, this, this, the bottom one could be written for German for autistic people. You figure. A quick disclaimer: I'm not an expert. This is a very biased view. Some of these people are experts. If you've got any questions at the end, Google them. Uh, by the way, Simon Baron Cohen is not Borat. You're thinking of his brother, <laughs> Sasha. Now, the autism spectrum is vast. I'm but a really small part of that. Somewhere near the gifted bubble. Near. I'm not making any claims here. But it means I can camouflage a lot of my difficulties in the areas of social skills. I have to work, use logic by what most of you just get intuitively. And it's exhausting. It kind of works, but only kind of. And just by that little boy in the recent BBC thing, the A word, if you watched it, I get distracted by details, spinning things, colours. I miss the obvious, like that it's dangerous to go for a walk by yourself when you're four. Another way to explain high functioning autism Asperger's. I don't sit in a corner, rocking, banging my head, not speaking, but quite often when I leave the room, the people behind me, banging their heads, not speaking. So unstructured socialising for that reason really doesn't work for me. I used to just corner the next person, just bawled onto tears with my favourite subject. If I actually liked beer, I'd have joined camera. So why have I got any friends at all? Certainly not by reading reference books anymore. <laughs> Structured social activities, that was what finally worked out, works for me. Lindy Hop, no, it's got nothing to do with hopping, Lindy, bunnies, it's a partner dance from the 1930s. You may know it's jive or um, jitterbug, swing. Um, and if you anybody watched that little Google thing last Thursday. That was Frankie Manning. He was one of those kids in the 1930s Savoy Ballroom. He made Lindy Hop so cool that soon the white kids wanted to join them on the floor and it was quite revolutionary at the time. It was certainly atypical. The other thing, Lindy Hop wouldn't be Lindy Hop without 1930s jazz. That syncopated driving rhythm, the patterns, eight count, very predictable. It's also got some rules. There's a lead and there's a follow. Some people find that really difficult, but I, that works for me. It's simple. There's a rule. You know what you're doing. Generally, the rule is men lead and girls follow. Somebody else has also written a very nice Lindy Hop etiquette. I think maybe there's more people than me in the Lindy Hop community who like those rules. So even when you're not naturally good at socialising, once you work out those rules, you can, you can socialise by simply going, would you like to dance? So the other rule, the men lead and women follow. Not always, as you can see there, sometimes I will lead. And one of the most interesting bits that I found out when I researched this topic was that girls with autism are considered to be not just different from other normal girls, but also different from boys with autism. So this article found that we have pathways in our brain that show up similar to typical boys, but with reduced activity and areas in the brain that are responsible for socialising. So as a result of all this, I'm a much happier person. I'm no longer that straight-faced three-year-old going, why well, am I supposed to smile? The dancing relaxes me, and when you relax, it's really easy to be happy. There's also a really strong community in Lindy Hop. Really lovely people who enjoy dancing Lindy Hop, talking Lindy Hop, and I'm really looking to be part of that community.